How's it going, boys and girls? Thank you very much for joining me on a new game that I've just brought. Uh, let me just read this out for you. There are things I need of you, things you may not understand and may not wish to do, but please do not make the same mistakes I did. My father, Howard, deserted me before I was born. I could claim the loss of my mother and the letter I received after her funeral. Blinded me to what I had to do, it would be a lie. Human nature slowed by downfall. My name is Philip. If we are lucky, then by the time you receive this, I will be dead. If fate frowns, we all perish. Alright, um... It's a new game- uh, it was not new, it's one of the first games by Friction. It's called Penumbra Overture. Overture. Episode 1. Uh, this was out before Amnesia, I believe. Uh, I have no idea what it is about. Uh, I've never played this. Um, let's check the options quickly. Mouse uh, sensitivity, that seems okay. Uh, okay. Uh, English, uh, we'll keep it on normal. Uh, yeah, I think everything will be fine. For players who are bad at action games, recommended to suit most players. For players who want to do a challenge, we'll start with normal. My story began in February year 2000. I hope this is a scary game, because I know Amnesia was fucking scary. For my part in this allegory, I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it, so when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. But he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. Strong coffee. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that, despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and said so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day, and I considered it in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. Alright. So, we starting right now, getting right into this. On the ship. Is that Jack Daniels? Oh, we could always do that. Finally, we're almost docked. I'd better stow my gear. I may be far from home, but chances are I can still stick, still pick things up using left mouse. Okay, and I can take a closer look using right mouse. So if I right mouse, whiskey empty. Ah, oh, shame. Always good to have a notebook. Yep, it is always good. We have no notes. Uh, oh, so we gotta do this. I think I left my torch in the desk drawer next to the bed. Okay, what's that? Oh, it's practically the same as Amnesia. Just right click to just chuck them. Okay, so we need a key of some sort. And press some tab. Okay, it's because I don't have anything. That's fine. Oh! There we 
go. Alright, go stick. J. Awesome. It's pretty cool. We won't waste that. We got some batteries for the flashlight. Uh, we started in this map is good to get. Uh, okay. We got some oil. Oh, wait. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. I have left you a little something to remember me by in the chest at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board. Taking shifts because of it is no way to get your rest. But what does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? I'll be praying every night for you to make the catch you need so that you can come home to me safely and soon. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might nag sometimes, but I do love you. You know. I've watched those overalls of yours. I know you'll get them covered in. I saw the fish parts in no time, but I feel, still feel better knowing you've had a wash. Before I forget, the Henriksons in the village have asked me to see if you'll be coming by any trout, but I said they were mostly out of season. If you do happen upon any, don't say anything, stow them well in the ice and I'll do something special with them to celebrate when you come home to me. The ship's captain deserves a little special treatment once in a while. Take care my love. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Thank you for that. Oh no, I smashed my whiskey. Let's grab my torch. Oh, that's, that's sweet. Okay. That should be everything I need. I want to get going before dark. As I stepped off the boat, but setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientations or my spirit at first, but I lost feeling in my extremity soon after, and new hypothermia was setting in. I started looking shut Hypothermia! So cold. Don't know where I am. Need shelter soon. Well, let's get going. Can I run? Oh, I can run. My entire head went numb a long time ago, but I can still hear the wind roaring past. Or is it some kind of animal? What the hell is that? I don't care. I need shelter. Frozen shut. I need something to break it. What? 
Jesus, my head, I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? This place is... Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, we got a, f is that a flare. Flare, yes. Oh, and a stick. A steel rod. Can we use that as a weapon? No, damn it. Okay. Well, I hope, like, nothing happens too quick. Whoa! Ah! Alright, what's this? Jesus. Old as they can put it. Uh. Let's try the metal. Nope. This hole being boarded up a long time ago. The wood looks pretty soft now. Ha! Ah. Let's see. I reckon if I hold down the right mouse after the backswing, I could still be able to look around. Okay. This ho I know that. I can't do anything. Yes, that doesn't really help me much. Okay, let's just put that back and try and move this out the way. Because I'm sure, if anything, it'll be the hammer to knock this bad boy out. Oh, you've actually got a... Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Alright. Wait, actually, I'm gonna keep that out because I'm gonna use that as a hammer. Uh, as a hammer, what the fuck? As a. as a weapon? Wait. Shit. Batteries don't long, that's long, do they? Uh, I don't really know what to expect, so. This looks like some kind of industrial mechanism. Although there's a hole in the center and no way to operate it. What do you know? I don't know what I'm doing really, so let's just turn it. Does that work? Okay. Oh, did that open that? I'm guessing. Whatever I was descending into it was a hundred feet below ground protected by two solid metal hatches located in a remote arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow i didn't know what to expect but it made me feel something i hadn't felt since i was a child i'd never given it much thought before but i realized that our entire society society is a network of safety nets emergency Services at the end of a phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, love is all there if something goes wrong. Part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotion. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids. Knowing anyone that might help me, friends, parents, teachers, were too scared or too far away. No, just in case. God, I keep doing that. The entrance to the cave has caved in. There must be another way out. It could be anything living down here. Heroic or for, or for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Cushion and stuff are my only defenses now. If anyone or anything hears me, I'd best be off staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crouching by pressing left control will give me the chance to hide in the shadows. I know I've got it right because uh, the blue dead blah de blah blah. Great. My best bet is to hide for a couple of seconds or so. Perfectly still. That's probably it. What am I hiding from? Like that, I'll be. This one after some time, I should get my night vision back. 
excited, I stay still. Well, I'm not sure what is going on. It's a very nice map. What is with the music, man? Am I actually hiding from something? Oh, this is horrible. Okay, guys, I don't know how long it's been, but I'm gonna stop it right here. I think we've been going off for some time now because of all that reading and. Ugh. Well, that's that's the intro anyway. So, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. Uh, it looks alright actually. I don't know how old it is, but yeah, you know, could get good. So anyone wait to find out by watching. So I uh, hope you guys really have enjoyed it. Uh, please comment, please subscribe, and like always, guys, do not forget to like.